No, I'm about to go in. Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back. So they're really not with it. Let's go. Tell me where you're from, where you stay. Now I keep it lit from the coast to the bay. Peace on the right. If you guys are looking to get cheap and instant Madden 18 coins, be sure to head over to MuttCoinBank.com and use promo code MAZE at checkout for 10% off. After the last tip video I posted, I got a ton of comments that were asking for defensive tips and I realized I hadn't really posted any defense in quite a while. And I actually do have a pretty solid defensive scheme to show you guys and it's really, really simple. And another thing that makes this tip great is it's in so many different playbooks. So whether you're playing draft champs or you want to integrate it into the playbook you're already using, uh, it's already in a ton of playbooks because the whole scheme is based around one play and that play is uh, out of three, four odd and it's just a regular Tampa 2. And I'm gonna show you some different adjustments you can make to have a crazy blitz out of it, to have crazy coverage out of it, and then just an average run defense also. So to start on offense, I'm just gonna go against a random shotgun formation, just shotgun doubles. Um, nothing special about this, just completely random. Um, and I'm gonna call a play where the running back is not blocked. So if I can find that, I'll go FL spot. Um, that's the play I'm gonna call. And then, like I said, the whole entire scheme is based around this Tampa 2. And it can be one of the most dominant defenses in the game uh, for many different reasons. So to start, you guys know to cover two is there's just two high safeties. You got your corners on the outside playing in flats. And then you have three hook zones in the middle. Um, and before you make any adjustments, what you should do every single time is adjust your middle linebacker to play in a deep third right down the middle. Because if you're just running a regular cover two, um, there's really big holes in the middle of the field and it's going to allow your opponent to beat you deep for one play touchdowns and just the middle of the field is going to be wide open. So with any cover two you run, you should always have a deep third from your middle linebacker. And if you don't, you should at least user this guy and your priority should be covering the deep middle because I'm going to call like four verticals. I'm going to show you um, if I'm if I'm going to put this guy back in a hook zone. I'm going to show you how it's going to play out on from the offensive perspective. Um, if there's no deep zone in the middle, you see the middle of the field is just completely wide open. Um, so any cover two you run, you're going to want to put a deep third. Now I'm going to put this guy in a deep third in the middle. All right, now he's there and I'll get on a D lineman and I'll run the same play and show you that that is now not going to be uh, open like it just was. See, like the whole defense plays a lot different. I end up even getting an interception on that with the deep third. The whole defense just plays a lot different when you have that deep third. I'm not really sure why. It changes the priorities for some of the other linebackers and stuff. And then there's also a guy deep down the middle. So any cover two, the first thing you want to do is put this guy, uh, the middle linebacker, in a deep third. Um, to do that without clicking on, you want to double tap R1. Brings up your linebacker adjustments and you can go triangle and uh, up on the left stick and that's going to put him in a deep third. If you guys uh, want to go over that in practice mode, if you don't know how to do that, just you know run that really quick. Uh, that's just the most simple of adjustments you can make. Now getting into why I like a cover two defense this year is because this year, um, if you guys have been playing online, you would know that the most overpowered offensive schemes involve stretch plays and pitch plays and any type of play that's an outside run. And it, it the blocks just line up really well in Madden 18 for outside runs. And the running backs with a lot of speed are able to get to the outside and get these huge gains. Now, if I audible to a cover three, um, I'm going to show you this cover three. I look at my run fits. You see the person who's assigned to have the outside, let's say it was a run to the right, is going to be this guy right here, Joseph. If I look at the run fits, you see he's got that uh, dark red angle on the outside. That's the outside contained defender. And then if he's going to run to the left, it would be this guy over here. Obviously, it's only showing um, the run fits to the right side. But if it was to the left, it would be this guy on the left. Now, that is fine and all. But a lot of times, uh, this triangle receiver is able to seal off that linebacker. And then if it was a run to the right, the tight end or another receiver out there would seal the outside. So it's really easy to get runs to the outside if you're running a cover three and even a cover four. Um, the outside contained defenders are the linebackers on the outside. So in a cover four, it's the same thing where the outside contain are the guys who are right outside the linemen. And so a lot of times, especially if you base a line on defense, when you base a line, you see this guy comes all the way up here. So this, this Joseph is the guy who is in charge of stopping the outside runs. Um, and he's he, when you baseline, he gets all the way up here. So now who's really going to stop the outside run? Because he's all the way at the top of the screen. If it was a run to the right, there's no way he's getting all the way down here and making a play in time. He's probably going to get blocked and the guy's going to get a big gain. And I know a lot of defenses are based around base aligning. So for that reason alone, cover three and even cover four are not very good at stopping outside runs just because the outside contained defenders are going to be further inside. Now, if I switch back to a cover two, my Tampa two, and I'm going to show you the run fits now, you see the outside contained defender is your uh, your cornerbacks. 
So on the if it's a run to the right, it's going to be that far right uh, cornerback. If it's a run to the left, it's going to be just what you see on the screen completely flipped. It's going to be that left side cornerback. Now these guys are really far outside, and I did base a line already, and uh, you see they're still far outside. It's going to help contain those outside runs. And also, um, I'm going to switch back to a cover three, and I'm going to show you actually how they play against the run your cornerback so just watch watch the cornerback i'm just gonna call the run play i obviously I didn't get a big game but i'm gonna i'm gonna show in the replay how your corners played this run okay so i was running to the left side over here so we're gonna watch this cornerback in a cover three this is not the scheme i'm going over this is a cover three i'm gonna show you guys how he played back up back look how long it takes him to react to that run play he backs up a solid five six yards the running back already has the ball and is going uh through the hole right now and the cornerback is just finally planting his feet 15 yards downfield from the running back. And he's going to make it, that run, that corner is not going to make a play in a cover three. Now I'm going to switch back to this cover two. Like I said, in the cover two, which is what I like, your corners you see are involved in the run. They have the run fit there on the right side. You see it with the, uh, the red line on that far right. It's going to be the same thing on the far left if the run fit was showing to the left. So now I'm going to call a run play. And I'm going to show you how the corner reacts a little bit differently. Now I'm just going to go back into the replay and show you guys that. Right, so again, we're watching this corner. We're going to look at the difference of how he plays the run when he's in a cover two. Doesn't back up at all. Doesn't backpedal at all. And immediately gets to the outside. Now, obviously, he got blocked pretty good by that uh, by that um, wide receiver. But as you saw, immediately, he was playing the run. He wasn't backpedaling. He wasn't taking three seconds for him to react to the run. And assuming you have corners out there who can get a decent block shed, you know, you never really know. Um, they're going to play the run a lot better. So cover two in general against pitches, stretches, inside zone that they cut outside the corners in a cover two are going to play the run a lot better and defend those run plays a lot better all right so now getting into the actual scheme that i'm basing this tampa two out of so like i said um what i like to do is i'll usually user this linebacker right here the one uh, the the left outside linebacker uh which is navarro navarro bowman in this case but basically like i said you want to adjust your middle linebacker into a uh, deep third and i actually always like to base a line too so i'm going to base a line then I adjust my middle linebacker into a deep third. And then depending on what my opponent is doing, I can make my adjustments based on that. The best, most simple coverage defense, which you've probably seen a lot of um, if you watch other tip videos and stuff like that, is to adjust your other outside linebackers into hard flats. Okay, so now that is going to stop the hard flat. It's going to stop any corner routes on the outside. You have a deep third down the middle. So you have, you have really good deep coverage. You have really good sideline coverage. And now the whole middle of the field is your user. So if you have a good user who's really fast and you're really good with it, then um, you're going to take away this entire middle of the field with your user. And if you throw this in there, it's an insane coverage defense. Also, what you can do is pinch your D-line uh, down and then crash them out. So that's going to be L1 down on the left stick, L1 up on the right stick. And then that's going to get them better block sheds and stuff like that. Um, if you guys do, you're only doing a three-man rush. So obviously, you're going to want to try to get some kind of pressure, some block shedding like that. But this coverage defense is actually insane. Because if you look at the play call right here, so let's take a look at the left side of the field. We have Macklin on a little curl route and we have Perriman on a deep corner. So you'd think it's going to be a high low read. You're going to either take, it's a smash concept. You're either going to take Macklin or Perriman. You're going to throw to one of them, whichever the corner chooses. But because of the way the defense is set up, I'm not going to throw either of them because it would have been an interception. I'm going to look at the replay and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So because I adjusted this linebacker into a hard flat, this guy's already in a cloud flat. You're going to watch... The hard flat initially gets covered by the cloud flat, initially. Then it gets brought underneath by this linebacker I adjusted. And then the corner route is now covered by this cloud flat. So you just completely took away a smash concept, the corner and the flat on that far side of the field. And that is something that people base their entire offenses off of, especially in like a gun bunch type of offense. They're gonna completely try to read the sidelines and cause most of the time you're not gonna have a hard flat and a cloud flat. So most of the time they can usually, one of the guys is gonna be open. So when you do the type of defense where I just laid out for you guys, where I'm gonna restart the play and show you guys. So this is uh, on defense, this is the defense you're given. You're gonna base a line. Then you're going to put your uh, middle linebacker in a deep third. Then you're going to hit R double R1 again and put your outside square linebacker in a hard flat. That's left stick to the left. And then you're going to put the other linebacker on the right side who initially, initially you see he's, he's rushing the quarterback. You're going to put him in a other hard flat on the other side. So now both sides of the field, you cannot hit the flat. You cannot hit a corner route. 
the only option would be to throw over the middle of the field. If you have a middle linebacker right here who has 91 zone, you have a, a corner or a safety right here that has 91 zone and another safety right here that has 91 zone, and then you have a semi-decent user, you're going to shut down almost every type of pass they could make. And the only way they're going to make a pass is if you make a mistake, if you leave someone wide open. But if you know the, you know how to use your, you know the type of plays they like to run, then there's going to be an insane coverage defense. It's almost impossible to beat. It's really, really tough if you have a good user. And then again, from there, what you're going to do is just wait for your D-line to get block sheds because there's going to be no one open. So the only option he's going to really have is to run the ball or, uh, or you know, just wait for someone to get open on a broken play. Now, if they do have a mobile quarterback, sometimes I like to do is I'll go to my linebacker adjustments and I'll put the outside guy on the right in a spy. So that way I leave my corner, I leave the flat open to the one side and then the other side I still have it made with like that. Now I know that's that's uh, just depends on how your opponent's playing. If they're running the ball a lot with their quarterback, you might want to look into something like that. All right, so now that I've went over how to get a really good coverage defense out of this cover two, I'm going to go over how to get an insane blitz to come in with this cover two. So basically it's a few simple adjustments. First, you're going to base a line, which is triangle and the left stick to the right. Then you are going to, from there, spread and crash your D-line outside. So that's L1 up on the left stick, L1 up on the right stick. And you're going to see on their angles, um, it's going to look like that, I guess. And then from there, you're going to pinch your linebackers and blitz all of them. So that's going to be R1 down on the left stick, R1 down on the right stick. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like from there. Then you are going to put your user, whichever one you want it to be, it could be this guy, it could be this guy. You're going to put him in a hook zone, and then you're just going to use her the middle of the field. And you can QB contain also. Um, that makes it come in really, really hot. Um, and again, you have some cloud flats on the outside. You have decent coverage over the top. You just got to use her the middle of the field. And if they somehow figure out a way to block all these guys blitzing, um, you're going to have to watch the deep middle because that's a, a spot that's exposed in a cover too. All right, but I'm going to call the play. I'm just going to hike it and show you guys how this comes in. You see you got two guys screaming in there really fast. Now, if your opponent is not expecting this and you've been running a lot of this coverage defense that I just showed you with uh, putting your line, only rushing three, putting your linebackers in hard flats, you know, that type of defense, if you've been running that and then you throw in this blitz, they're not going to be blocking anyone. They're not going to be expecting it. They're not going to be expecting to have them make a quick read like that out of nowhere. And then you're usually going to get a sack, which then you can go back to a coverage style defense and then they're not going to be able to pick up the yardage. And from there, you get a turnover. You're, you're looking really good when you're facing your opponents. Then again, you can always just run the cover two stock how it is. That's not awful. You can put this guy in a spy and just run the cover two how it is if they're beating you over the middle. Again, you're just going to have to adjust based on what your opponent's doing. But with this cover two, you can do so much. You can do an entire scheme because like I said, it's a solid run defense. You can get an insane coverage defense out of it if you put your linebackers in uh, whatever zone you like. And then also you can get a crazy blitz out of it that screams in there. All right, so I'm actually going to go over the blitz one more time for you guys just to you know make it very clear on how this blitz works. You're going to base the line, which is triangle, left stick to the right then you're going to spread and crash your d-line out so that's left up right up and then you're going to pinch and blitz your linebackers so that's r1 down on left r1 down on right then you're going to qb contain and put your uh your user in a hook zone or a mid read and then from there i'm going to call the play and look at that dude instant heat so easy it's almost impossible to make a throw off that and if they do um, it's going to get tackled just like that because with 91 zone, if they're throwing it right when they hike the ball, all your players are going to react immediately with that 91 zone. So I'm going to show you guys again how fast you can set this up. I'm not even going to say the adjustments. I'm just going to set it up for you guys. Done. Now, if you started setting that up before they got to the huddle, you would set it up before they're even halfway to the line of scrimmage you know right as you get out of the huddle if you start setting up that blitz you could have it set up like within two seconds before they're even close to the line of scrimmage and then just like magic this thing is going to scream in there and get you sacks like nothing all right guys that is going to do it for the video i hope you guys are able to utilize this scheme and hopefully it's in the playbook that you're already using so you can just throw it in there uh with the defense you're already running if you guys like the video leave a like down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new also if you have any questions about any of this leave it in the comments i'll try to respond to as many as i can um so if it's anything's unclear to you guys leave it in the comments hopefully i can help you or someone else in the comment section will be able to help you and uh, with that said i'll be seeing you guys in the next video now i'm on the outside